All right, guys. Uh, so this is my ball python setup. Uh, it's a 30 gallon long tank. Um, uh, pretty much, I guess I'll just start with the lighting. I just use one um, 100 watt heat bulb in the center. I do it a little different. I put the heat bulb in the center, a pad on the right, and then nothing on the left. The center stays at about 92 in the day. Uh, the right side in the high 80s, and the left side in the low 80s if not high 70s. It gives a good temperature gradient for the snake. Um, it's hot hide which is uh, partially over the uh, under tank heater is right there. It's a nice big hollow cave which is where he spends most of his time. There's a hollowed out log with some plants there and then there's a basking corner rock cave right there. Um, use cypress mulch for bedding, good for humidity. As you can see the humidity right now is at 52 uh, which is good to have for ball pythons. Uh, you want it between 50 and 60. There's a bunch of fake plants and vines and stuff just to make it look nice. Um, he's in a shed right now. So I will show him to you, but he, he is in a shed. I forgot to mention there's a big water dish right there because you want to have one that they can fully submerge themselves in because ball pythons do like to um, bathe. Um, maybe he is not in this shit anymore. Maybe he fully shed his skin. Uh, let's check this guy out, shall we? Um, here he is. I would say he's about a good. Um, just kiss the camera. So he's probably about two and a half to three feet now. He's pretty thick. I got him as a baby, and he's grown exceptionally well. Uh, he's not in a shed. He was, so I'm guessing there's probably a big piece of skin under there right now that I probably should take out. Um, but yeah, he's fresh off the shed, so his colors are very vibrant right now. He also just ate two days ago, so he is full fed as well. Um, he's gotten very fat, but he is very hardy and he's very happy. Um, usually. I've only been bitten by him once, uh, by accident. I do, um, was feeding him barehanded, which I do not advise. I just do sometimes because I have a hard time getting um, him to bite. Um, sometimes uh, ball pythons are actually really bad at striking. I don't know if anybody else notices that, but they uh, they blind strike sometimes. Don't have the best eyes, so it can be a pain in the ass. But yeah. Um, He's looking at his heat lamp. It, it, it doesn't stay like that. It's just how I have it rigged right now. It usually just rests on top. Um, but yeah, you know, he's he's awesome. He's uh, one of the first snakes I got, and I love him. Definitely a cool pet. I had a battle with mites. It took about six months. Uh, now I've got to prevent them. I have that, all kinds of other spray bombs, just some decor I haven't used yet. I have a Reptifogger on him, but uh, the transducer broke on it, so I just sent away for a new one. Zoom Metal had me a new one by the end of the week. Um, and then he'll have his fogger on again. And uh, yeah, you can see he's just sort of looking around. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, it's just a rainforest background on his tank. Uh, I clean his tank out, you know, once every two or three months. As far as substrates go, I'll wash down his stuff sometimes. Um, if he has mites, he goes on the quarantine. Uh, he's got them once. They usually only get them twice throughout their life, three times at most. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Uh, he's definitely not full grown yet. Probably will grow two or three more feet and get a lot fatter by the time he's old enough. He's probably uh, he's going on two years this year old, so he's still pretty young. Um, he's not eating frozen rats yet. He eats frozen mice of the largest size. Um, so that's it guys, um, as far as snakes go, the most important things is the heating, you definitely want a strong enough infrared bulb, um, same with the, uh, uh, the under tank heater, you definitely need that to help them digest, um, humidity is always good to keep control, and then a water dish, uh, all that other plants, that's not necessary, it just makes the tank look better and it makes the snake possibly happier, you know, rather than having paper towels and a shoe box that probably isn't the most appealing thing, but okay. I mean, some people do it that way, I guess, if they don't have the money for it. Um, but yeah, 
uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Ask any questions if you have any. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.